person's question is, what do I do after declaring that I have a particular thing for so long and it seems it's not coming to pass at the time I need it? <laughs> That's the key. Uh, yes, I think he's the one that is giving himself a deadline. <laughs> uh, because, uh, like you taught us, uh, faith is not a leap in the dark. It's not a leap in the dark. It's a leap on the word. Mm -hmm. And if he truly believes uh, that he has what he has asked for, and he should not put, put himself under duress to say that he must come today, he must be tomorrow. He mm. knows inside him that he has it, mm -hmm. and he stays with it, and he's going to get the results. That's it. See, faith remains unshakable irrespective of circumstances. As long as you're thinking, uh, I've been declaring that I have this thing, it hasn't come. Oh Lord, I've been declaring, and then you get under pressure, you're not in faith. You're thinking that the constant repetition of your confession is what faith is. No, but that's not faith. Faith is not that you are confessing it. We make the confession because we have faith. See, our confession is an offspring of faith. See, as it is written, I believed, therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. It doesn't say we speak and therefore believe. See, I believed, therefore have I spoken. That's what the word says. So the faith takes a hold of it first. And if your faith has taken a hold of it, it is impossible to deny you. It's impossible because you already have it. How can you, how can you come back and say, oh, I thought I had it and I found I didn't have it. Faith is a knowledge. It's a spiritual knowledge that you have it. You're not trying to get it. You have it. He says, now faith is the substance of things. Substance of things. Substance of things not seen. See, it is substance of things hoped for. The substance of things hoped for. If you were hoping for it, you were wanting to get it and, and, and praying about it. When you take a hold of it with your faith... Because you've been hoping for it. Your faith has it. It is substance. Not an assumption. It didn't say faith is an assumption of things hoped for. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Which means it has become tangible to you. Then the second part of it, Hebrews 11.1, 1, it says, The evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence. If it's evidence, how can you come back and say, I thought I, I've been confessing that I had it and then uh, it didn't come when I wanted it. That's impossible because it's evidence. How can, you, how can you claim to have had it and to discover you didn't have it if it's evidence? If it's evidence, it means it's proof. So the fact that you are asking this question tells you you were not in faith when you thought you were. So the real question is not going to be, what do I do um, after declaring that I have something and then it doesn't come when I want it? Your real question should be wanting to know, learn more about faith. You know, you want to know more about faith. How do I use my faith? Because you have faith. If you didn't have faith, you wouldn't be a Christian. See, because when you hear the gospel, the gospel comes with faith, with the seed of faith. Once you receive the gospel of Jesus Christ, it imparts faith into your heart, see, to receive eternal life. You become a Christian. So faith is already resident in your spirit. The question is, how do I use my faith? How do I use it? That's what you want to learn. And our book, How to Make Your Faith Work, will help you tremendously. So get a copy of it. You can get the digital copy. Just get online and download that copy. It will help you. We trust you have been blessed. Leave a comment to let us know what thoughts...